trying to be the best I can be And follow his steps to the T Leave my past mistakes in the past And glance at my chance of fulfilling my destiny So I am just trying to be the best I can be oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. And some see you as invincible they don't Hello, it's RJ and welcome to RJ Speaks you know, we live in a very materialistic world where everyone wants the latest stuff. But in our pursuit of the latest worldly assets, let's not forget to upgrade our greatest asset. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about your mind. You know, when I was in school, the best phone out was the Nokia 3310. It was basically a brick phone. It didn't have a camera and its main appeal was the polyphonic ringtones. But since then, Nokia have released new phones and had additional features. Why? Because they know that a phone that was great 10 years ago wouldn't survive in the current market. Why? Because Apple, they're setting the standards and because of that, customers' expectations have gone sky high. I mean, who do you know that would set up an updated brick phone nowadays? I showed the phone, the 3310, to a group of 15-year-olds and they laughed. I mean, not even grandmas and grandpas would set you for such a phone. Now imagine if Nokia got complacent, content, and continued to produce the old 3310s. I guarantee you that they wouldn't be in business right now. So just as businesses and companies are committed to improving their products, we've got to show the same commitment to improving ourselves. But what's funny is when we're so consumed with getting the latest stuff, that we don't pay attention to upgrading ourselves. I mean, so many people are still stuck on foolish and childish habits like playing games all the time, not taking the education seriously and squandering money away on some nonsense like they're some sort of ballers. I mean, we've got to grow up and really put things into perspective. Eric Thomas, motivational speaker from America, once said that he found it strange how some of his students claim they didn't have money to buy books and yet they had on the latest phone or the latest trainers. You know, sometimes our unwillingness to let go of silly and childish things prevents us from reaching new heights. There's a proverb that says, when I was a child, I fought like a child. But when I became a man, I had to put away all childish things. So we've got to put away childish things in order to reach that new level. We've got to be willing to grow, mature, change and develop. You know, I'm fully grasped that when I went to university because there I met an individual, a fellow student called Aaron. Even though he was my age, similar background, he was different in the fact that he was more ambitious, confident and articulate. He became a role model to me, right? Um, he used to engage me in intellectual discussions so that I could improve my communication skills. He would criticise me for using slang to encourage, encourage me to broaden my um, vocabulary. And then he would... Uh, you know, challenge me not to aim for a grade C, but go and get the best grade out there. At the time, I was confused. I was like, this guy's putting too much pressure. Get off my back. But right now, I'm reflecting on that experience, and I'm so grateful that he intervened and introduced me to a new way of thinking. And he challenged me to upgrade my mindset. And just as he challenged me, I'm now challenging you to be the best version of yourself. Go get the upgrade. I'm trying to be the best that I know I can be But I see the world is quite testing for me But I will overcome by